Hello, I'm Steve Lund, and I'm working on the emergency disconnect for this Ford Explorer. Now, if you take a look inside here, you see we have the 300 amp Anderson connector here, and we have a little loop here, and on the other side we've got the uh, positive wire that goes up to our fuse. So right now we have this big spring right here that's pulling on it and what's holding it together is this little pin, the grenade pin. And when we pull that out, this spring will pull this whole Anderson connector right out. Now we've got two handles, two ways of pulling it. One is the uh, automatic uh, transmission shift linkage. There was an automatic transmission in here. You can use your heater duct uh, work uh, movement or, or a clutch movement. Whatever movement you want, you can use. There it is because it goes inside and it's right on the steering wheel. We used the uh, park drive one and two. So when we put the, the, uh, the linkage in one, it'll pull on this. Or we also have another wire that goes to the outside with a little handle. Now come along here and I'll show you what we have. We've got a little handle right here that one could pull on to disconnect that. Or we also have inside the car the shift linkage right here. Now to drive the car we of course have to put it in we have to put it in some gear. Otherwise it locks up in park. Locks in park won't come out. We uh, put our key in. We want to go. We turn the wheel. We put it in reverse. We still got neutral and drive to go here. And when we push it into those all the way over into first it'll pull the emergency disconnect. Now go around there and take a shot and I'll show when I pull this how that thing comes apart. Okay, this is the emergency disconnect. Ready to go? Steve is ready to go. Yeah. Test. Unbelievable, folks. 